Hey guys and welcome back to the Gerbil Vine. Thank you all so much for being here today, for clicking on this video, and for helping the gerbils and I spread around good care information here on YouTube. So I'm here today in my local PetSmart. I've been checking out online and it looks like they've got in a bunch of really cool small pet items for Christmas. Uh, so I'm really excited to go over those with you guys today, talk about um, what items would be safe for your gerbils, if they would be suitable items to use in your gerbil home and uh, maybe see what I'm going to be getting today for my gerbils, maybe get them uh, some really cool stuff that I can actually use in their upcoming tank decor video for their Christmas theme. Uh, so let's go have a walk around and check some stuff out. So super cute you guys, they've got this um, whole thing set up for Christmas photos. I think that's just adorable, um, I believe they're for pet photos. So you can bring in your pets and get a photo done. It's really cute with the background and everything. Uh, the store really goes all out to make it look really cute and happy and festive and just happy holiday vibes. We've got the small pet stuff over here. So it starts off, um, there's not too much. I feel like there's still some more stuff online that we haven't gone in yet, like um, some cool Christmas like willow balls I've seen online and like some special wooden themed shoes. I think ones that look like little gingerbread men and little houses and stuff. So that's something that I haven't seen yet in any of the stores. So to start off, they've got this really cool twin pack of Carefresh bedding. It's just the plain uh, paper color, but it equals up to 120 liters of bedding, which is pretty good. And they've got it going right now for $49.99 um, for two 60 liter bags of bedding. So we've got the natural Carefresh down here and it goes for about $31 for one bag. So pretty much by buying the double pack, you're saving $10, um, which is a great deal if Carefresh is the type of bedding that you use. I've actually been really happy with this bedding that I've been using. So really happy about that. And then of course I use the Aspen bedding over here and I did use it in a couple of my videos. Uh, I believe two tank cleans now and uh, one of my subscribers did bring up that I forgot to give uh, my opinion on it and, and I am super happy with this bag of Aspen. Um, it's probably the only Aspen that I'm going to use going forward. So I love this product. Thumbs up from me. I will continue to use this product. I find it just to be super dust free. Um, no issues with the dribbles at all. I don't see any sort of like dust or debris on the glass. Um, when I move around their bedding it holds up the tunnels perfectly and it doesn't um, like crumble apart like you think it would because it has such small pieces. It actually works really well and it kind of gets like interweaved with all of the other bedding and the hay in there. So it works really great for holding up their structures. The gerbils seem happy with it. I'm happy with it. And I really, really like this bedding because I find that it smells nice and fresh. So it's probably the only aspen I'm going to continue using going forward. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And thank you to my subscriber for reminding me. Uh, sometimes I've got a lot of stuff going on in my head, a lot of notes about the channel and ideas that um, if I don't write it down at that time, it just completely slips my mind. Um, but love that bedding, think it's amazing, holds up the tunnels really great, no issues with the gerbils, and it's super soft, it's not sharp or pointy, and I'm super happy with it. So if we go back to the small pet stuff over here, we've got the super cool um, Merry and Bright Advent Calendar. It basically comes with like a couple of wooden chews and um, some small little rice puffs which aren't going to be that great to give to your gerbils, so that's something I would definitely avoid. Um, and I'll tell you why when we discuss the bigger version of them over here. But it basically contains a bunch of cool little wooden chews. Um, and I know that a lot of the other chews in their line are dyed using uh, fruit and vegetable juice. So I couldn't really find any information on if these ones like do the same process. But I'm going to assume that they do because the other toys in their line also use that same process. So I'm really excited to give those to the gerbils. That's something that I'm definitely going to be getting one. I mean... I guess I should get two so that each of the gerbils can have their own little um, advent calendar since I do have two gerbils just to avoid any sort of potential squabbles or fighting over items. So next we've got these naughty and nice uh, puffs over here and these are really cute. Uh, they're like kind of a hard material almost like a Rice Krispie square it feels like. But the reason that these aren't going to be great for your gerbils is the ingredient list. So they've got cornmeal, corn flour, rice, sugar, and then three colored dyes. 
Uh, so that's something that is not very natural for your gerbils and gerbils really shouldn't have any sort of sugar at all and definitely not like added sugar whereas like if you were to give them a piece of fruit and they got some sugar from that that would be okay but to have sugar added into a product and then feed it to them is going to be something that is not going to be good for them as cute as they are with the red and green they are cute um, but don't give them to your gerbils so next we've got this really cute um, chair and Christmas tree set as you can see, I've got it right here in front of me. It is absolutely adorable. So it's just this cute little cardboard couch that you build. Um, and again, it uses vegetable-based inks. And then it's got the same Christmas tree and light string, which you can hook onto your cage. Super cute as well. The only thing I don't recommend using is that cotton fluff nesting material. Uh, you definitely want to just get rid of that. It's something they don't need. If you wanted to, you could fill the couch with a little bit of bedding, or you could even put some shredded paper towels or some shredded Kleenex or toilet paper in there. Um, any of those options would be much better than giving them the cotton fluff. Gerbils can't properly break down and digest the fibers and the strings can get wound around their limbs uh, resulting in an injury for them. But super cute. I'm definitely going to grab one of these for their cage because I think that would just be absolutely adorable. And then we've just got some small pet costumes which are for guinea pigs. Something that would be way too big for the gerbils but adorable nonetheless. That little gingerbread man is just so cute. And then same with the hats down there, again, for the guinea pigs, not for the gerbils, but super, super cute and absolutely love those. I think the um, one that says naughty on it is just absolutely hilarious. And there is an empty spot there, which is where those willow balls were that I was telling you guys about. And these are all items that I'm going to be using in my Christmas tank theme. So thank you all so much for watching this video today. I know it was just like a uh, quick, short, festive um, store video but I am going to be using all of these items when I do my Christmas tank theme so make sure that you guys watch out for that. Um, the gerbils are just about due for a tank clean and it's actually the perfect time to do their tank clean so that I can have it set up and actually enjoy it for a bit before Christmas actually comes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you have a favorite item that you saw in PetSmart today and if you're going to be buying your gerbils anything special for Christmas holiday season um, or just in general even if you don't celebrate Christmas just for whatever if you feel like being festive. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along with us and for watching this video to the very end and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.